Dude, this is amazing. This guy's named his Porsche Carrera after a strip club, the Spearmint Rhino. Huh. 7.45 a.m., bright and early, guys. We're at a monthly meet at a bookstore here in Tokyo. Today's marquee for their car show are green cars. So, that being said, let's do a quick walk around some of the uh, eclectic variety of cars they have brought out today. Mini Coopers, Jags, British Racing Green. It's hard to see some of the uh, greens here in the shade. Ooh, Alpina. Nice, Maserati. Green F12, fantastic. This is quite nice. BMW 3.0 CSL. What's interesting about these meets is that there's always a wide variety of cars that show up. And what's even more interesting is that the uh, owners are usually middle-aged to older men. So, quite a stark difference between uh, Los Angeles car meets and Japanese car meets. Currently taking shelter at the local family mart. So, that being said, hopefully some other cars roll through. But I got myself a sushi roll right here. Might pick up a drink, maybe a little fried chicken. But the quality at all, all these convenience stores are very, very high. The prices are very, very fair as well. Good food, good prices. Dude, you don't have that kind of stuff in America. We just have a bunch of junk food, soda, nonsense. So, let's go pay and wait. Go on. Oh. oh my god, look, two more dogs. Dude, forget cars. We got dog spotting. And there's like this little uh, thingy thing they just tie their leashes to. Dog. Yeah, and they just uh, leave their dog out here while they go shopping. Go GTR for the GTR fanboys. Ooh, GTR fanboys, nice. check it out. Rolling. One more, one more. Here we go. Ooh, he did a naughty pull. I feel like if you did this in America and left your dogs out, someone would probably just steal it. All right, guys. Suffice it to say, this meat was kind of a bust. I uh, not really have no expectations. Oh, hello, cute dog. We're back here in Rapongi Hills. The annual RWB meet is in full effect. And we are in parking spots though, so I should be moved. This guy looks mad. Typical Corvette drivers. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Even in Japan. Even in Japan. Everywhere you go, fuckboys be abound. American F boy power has arrived at an RWB meet. And we got this pretty bizarre looking Lola car that's being blocked by that man over there. All right, we're here at the annual RWB meet in Rapongi Hills. That was owned by Amanda, apparently, lady driven. Now we got in front of this pretty rather bizarre looking kit car. I think it's the Lola. I actually not really sure what this is. I know it's Lola because it says on the front. Hey look, it's powered by Ford, but they misspelled powered. I think it's on the uh, on purpose. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Got the engine here. Huh. Interesting. I've never seen this particular car before in my entire life. Not bad. We're off to a great start. A lot of people, a lot of spotters, photographers, owners. We're in business, guys. We're in business. Check this one out. It's pink. Yes. And no rear bumper. like last 
last year. They ran out of spots here in this tiny lot. So they just basically had to wait at the gate until a spot freed up. So we're looking at a total of 12. Uh, there's 10 in the lot right here, plus this blue one and the black one. It seems like there's more foreigners and spotters than actual locals and owners, but that's okay. And as you guys know, I'm not a big Porsche fan, but I do appreciate an RWB. Nice. Very nice. Lady driven. Ah, just gotta open the door. dollars $25,000 doesn't give you the suspension, the tires, the wheels, so you got to keep that in mind. So it's pretty damn expensive. And then you got to book your appointment, and then Nakai-san will fly out personally. He's basically, he's actually a one-man shop who will fly directly to you, cut the fenders, and put the kit on for you. All right, guys, I kid you not, we just went for dinner. Two hours later, there's even more people. A couple more cars have arrived, but geez, man. We thought it was going to be a little more empty, but this one's pretty clean. And it's not even wide-bodied. But still RWD, though. This one's for all the JDM fans. This is a pretty rare two-door. Check it out. Got a lot of leapers here in Tokyo tonight. It's freezing. It's like 20 something degrees. I'm from Los Angeles, guys. I'm not used to this shit. Back at the Lamborghini garage. Got a couple other cars in here. We got a Pandar Guinea. Check this out right here. We saw the Aventador version at Tokyo Auto Salon, but here's a Huracan version. Same owner? Who knows? But it's pretty sick. Maybag Xenotech, one of seven in the world. They were supposed to make 200. 200? Yeah, but I think the economy just went bust. Oh, so nobody wanted it. What's so special about this? It's one of one because they only it's one of seven. Oh, look at that. He's put a one of one badge himself. <laughs> hmm. I'm guessing like a million when they were new. US dollars? More than, more than? One million US dollars? This is a 57S. Right. So it's basically a two door conversion. <laughs> Have we seen this? No. Nope. Oh my god. I think this was the one that used to be Genie. Yeah, I think it used to be uh, well, the, Aladdin or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Aladdin. Now it's Lilo and Stitch. Amazing transformation. Oh, wait, 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 stop. Look, that one's a power Iron Man. Did we see that before? Yeah. Oh. Oh, a Ferrari one off color on a Lamborghini. Have a rose gold tint to it. Well, nice. Check out the wheels on the Bentley. Baller. Keep going. We can literally have a minute to make it down. <coughs> Two minutes. Okay. Bye bye. That's Oh, it's a ghost noise. <laughs> 